Hey, Katrina here from Scrappy Horses. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so happy you're here today. I am working on a tag for the three, two, one challenge over at Cut It Up. Now, three, two, one. What we want over there is three gems, two die cuts, and one sentiment. And uh, here is the address for the Cut It Up challenges. I'll also link that in the box below. So if you're inspired by this and you want to share your art with us, please bring it on over. We would love to see it. All right, so let's move this off. First, I will show you that here are my three gems, my two die cuts. I have this die cut, which is the oval, and I have a floral die cut. Okay, so those are my two die cuts. All right, let's move this on and let's see how we did this. I do want to share that we are not going to spend any time at the craft table on this because all it all I did was just adhere it with some ATG and then the floral piece, I'll bring this back. The floral piece was adhered with um, three-dimensional tape. Then I just put some tool through it and tied it off in a bow. And that was it. So very simple put together. All right, so let's get started on this. The flower is from Marta Silvestri and here's the number on it. The sentiment is from Mother's Day 2010. I also used some shapes, an oval and a circle. And then I did a print, thin cut, weld, offset, contour, and flatten. All right, let's get started with this. Let's start out with bringing in our shapes. Here's our oval. And while we're here, we'll go ahead and bring in our circle. We'll just sort of put this little circle up here. We're going to make it really small there. Then we're going to come in and we're going to rotate this. So we're going to come up here to the top. We're going to left click. I'm just going to type in a nine and uh, that gives us 90 degrees and then click and there it is. I want to resize this so I can just pull this. And if I just want to change the width, I can do this. The length, I can do this. If I want to keep it pro proportioned, but make it bigger, I can pull diagonally. And I'll tell you what, I'm just going to, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going to pull it down here and match it up with what I have. And obviously you can make this tag whatever size you like. So, you know, I, I'm not married to these dimensions by any stretch. Okay, you can make them whatever size you like. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to turn this white. So I'm going to come up to the basic cut and there's a little square here with a color. I'm going to left click and turn it white. All right, now. The next thing I want to do is bring in the flower again from Marta Silvestri. This is all from your Cricut library or Cricut access. Obviously, let me take this away for a second. That is not going to work, is it? Because it's going to cut. So this is very easy to fix. When you see these kinds of things and you want to keep them as is and use them as a die cut that you want to color, Simple. Come up, left click offset, move it to zero, hit apply. That's how easy it is. Now you're going to take this piece here and you're going to come over to contour and you're going to hide all contours. Okay. Now we're, we're ready. All we have to do is line that up. So let's go ahead. First, let's turn it white. Before we line these two up though, I want to do an offset on this. So I'm gonna come back up to the offset. I'm gonna do an offset of about 0 0.069. I'm going to hit apply and I'm going to turn that white. And this is the bigger one, right? I'm going to take that now 
I'm going to duplicate it. Right click with my mouse, duplicate. I'm gonna bring this bigger one down. I'm gonna move this one to the front. This is that smaller one. I'm gonna bring this in, move it to the front. We'll put it in here. Don't worry about lining it up perfectly. You don't need to right now. And I want this very, very faint, this piece right here. I want this so light that I can just see it because I'm gonna Copic color it. Let's bring this back and you'll see. I wanna Copic color it and I don't necessarily want the lines to show, okay? Which I did Copic color that floral. I also put some pencil on it too. I'm gonna to take all three pieces here I'm going to align them. So come up here to your top row here, align. I'm gonna center it all and I am going to flatten. And that's it, there's our die cut. Okay, all right, let's move this over now. I wanna take this one that we duplicated. I'm gonna move it to the front, right click. Um, I wanna bring to front. And now I'm gonna line it up on this oval the way I want it. All right, so let's just bring this one back here. I'm just gonna sort of cheat and try to line it up pretty much like I had this one. Pretty much just didn't want any of the oval sticking out underneath here or on the side. So that's sort of how I judge that. I'm gonna go ahead and combine these two pieces, all right? I'm gonna combine, I'm gonna weld them. And there we are. Next, I'm going to put a hole in this. So I'm gonna bring this in, this circle. I'm gonna bring it to the front. I'm gonna eyeball this. Now, you're probably thinking, well, why don't you just center it? Well, I could have had I not already added the floral cluster. And in fact, if you wanna do this, go ahead and do it before you add the floral cluster, then you can center it. But I'm just gonna eyeball it here. And then I'm going to come in, select and slice. The slice button is over here in your right hand column down here, slice. And now I have a hole. We're gonna get rid of this because we don't need it. And now we're going to offset this piece. So we've selected, offset, I want it just a tiny bit bigger, I think, about right there, okay. Now that hole right there is gonna be pretty small, isn't it? That's okay. We can make it bigger by repunching a hole. Um, you can do it however you like. It doesn't really matter. Apply, and I'm gonna change that to purple. Now we have our two pieces here ready to go. We're gonna add this to the front for just a minute. We're not gonna add it, we're just gonna bring it to the front. Lay it in on top. We're gonna bring our sentiment in. We're gonna bring it to the front and see where it will fit here. Okay, there we go. Now to make this show up a little bit better, guess what? I offset it. I offset it just the tiniest little bit and I'm using my right arrow key on my keyboard just to offset it just a tiny bit here. Right, I'm gonna go on this one, 0 0.028. I'm not sure that I went that big on this one. I may have, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna hit apply. And I'm gonna come over here and make it a dark purple. That looks pretty much the same, actually. And I'm going to, I'm gonna leave it right there. That looks good to me, I like it. So I'm gonna remove this, remove this purple, select these two pieces, and say flatten. Remember that's over here in the right-hand column? Flatten. So this is now print then cut. This is a basic cut. And again, this hole right here, you can make that bigger if you like. We can just bring in another little circle and do that. Or if you, you know, again, if you'd rather have a, use a crocodile for that, 
you could. And uh, let me show you another way you can do this. You can click your circle over here in the right hand column, click circle, then hit your shift key on your keyboard, then hit your offset piece, and now hit slice. Remove, 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 send it back, and there we are. And here's our little piece that we're going to cut and color. So it moves back to the front. You can adhere that on, glue your um, pieces together, put a ribbon through it, and add some gems or, or whatever you like to add and your project is done. Not a hard project at all. So you've actually made your own special tag. You know, you've created it just by, you know, cutting and slicing and welding a few pieces together and you've got it. All right, hey, any comments or questions, leave them in the box below for me. I'm more than happy to answer. If you got something out of this video and you'd like to subscribe, then I welcome you to do that or hit the like button. Have a wonderful week and I will catch up with you in the next video. Bye.